In this video, we will know about modules, what are modules and how to create a module. In Angular, modules are like packages where relevant codes are kept under a single name. It is like container for the other code sections like controllers, services, directives, etc. Modules gives us the way to use these controllers or services using the module name. Modules also give us the way to mention the dependency. A module can depend on other modules. These dependencies are defined when the module is instantiated. Also, modules are used for bootstrapping the application. We have seen ng-app directive is used to bootstrap the application. We can use the module's name as the optional value for that ng-app directive to indicate what module to load as the main entry point of the application. In this way, modules are like main method of the AngularJS application. This is how we define modules for the application. Let's see how we can create a module. For that, we have to use Angular Objects module method. Angular Object is a global scope object provided by AngularJS. So let's create a script tag in the head section of our HTML file. So script and inside this tag, create a JavaScript variable where variable name will be my app. equals to angular dot module now the first parameter is the name of the module so let's give it a name my app and the second parameter is the array of the dependencies here we can give the name of other modules in comma separated way right now this module doesn't depends on other modules so I am passing an empty array. Now we can use the ng-app directive to mention which module to load. For that we give the module name as the value. Now we want to bootstrap the application with this module we just created. So we will specify the module name as value to ng-app directive. The name of our module is my app. So let's give this value my app. Always remember that our module name is the first parameter, this, not this JavaScript variable. In AngularJS, controllers controls the data or the flow of the data of the application. They take the model and pass them to the view. This data or model can be from any local database or controller can call any web service for fetching the data. So in this way, Controllers controls the application. Controllers are JavaScript objects created by JavaScript constructor function and they accept $scope as a parameter. $scope is an inbuilt variable in AngularJS. Controllers are defined using ng-controller directive. A scope object through the application model and we can access the model data in the view through the scope object. Every controller has a associated scope object. So every scope object refers to the application model of the controller and lets us access the model in the view. Here you can see when to use controllers. This documentation says that you should use controllers to set up the initial state of the dollar scope object and to add behaviors to it. And you should not use controllers to manipulate DOM or format input or filter output. So let's see how to create a controller. Previously, we created a module named Maya. And we know that modules are containers for AngularJS codes. So let's add a controller in this module. So myapp.controller. Now, first parameter will be the controller name. Let's give this controller a name first controller. I am using CTRL as a short form for controller. Then anonymous function dollar scope as a parameter dollar scope now in the body. dollar scope 
dot message equals to hello from controller now add a div element ng dash controller directive and give it value as our controller name that is first controller h1 tag and in data binding expression message this message is provided by the dollar scope object in this view now let's run it and here you can see the message hello from controller so this is how we create controllers there are multiple ways to write a controller we can write the same controller without using variable like uh, by removing this variable and deleting this and like this and the result will be the same so let's refresh this page and here you can see the result is same we can also write this controller as array parameter in this way we use array as a second parameter and in this array we write all the parameters used by the anonymous function and in the last anonymous function the reason we use array parameter way is because when you work on any big production project in most cases you create the minified version of your scripts during this process the tool you use to minify the file it renames the variables but AngularJS needs to know which rename variable indicates what so we write this in this way so that angular can know that this variable indicates this if you are not going to use minified version then it's okay to use the previous way of writing controllers but this way is considered as the best practices so in the next video we will see the other features of angular js